what GX can do if they can slow down the game. There's always that opportunity, there's always that chance. Because Sicilian, again, does do a lot of damage, and if the SS can keep him alive, that'd be great. Clint, from the backside. Is it sounds simple, just get close, use the divine judgment, but actually it's very difficult. Yeah, but this is what you want to do, man. We're gonna get into the land of Dawn. Cade instantly doing what Jack Scott weren't able to do, already pushing, pressuring in the early stages. Yato up against Prime here, the Sicilian versus the Lilia. Literally could not be any more different types of heroes. Lilia just needs that one or two items and she's ready to go. Yato. He's gonna be farming. Yes, we, we do not know the uh, the ceiling of this hero, at least in this matchup. But what's the timer exactly for GX Squad here, Lafell? How how long do they have to wait until they're ready to take fights when they're comfortable? I, I'm guessing no earlier than 12, 13 minutes. If it goes even, 16. Because mm. again, the amount of stacks that you need is a lot because they have quite a beefy frontline over here with the Khalid as well as the Pito. So. It's gonna look good past 12, but if you really want to make sure, 16. Yeah, not even to mention uh, the uh, the Paquito on King, right? This is why they're so gung-ho about going in straight to the jungle. Minute one, one minute, 20 something seconds in, they're already trying to invade. Yeah, the thing is that invade was, uh, they didn't, uh, I don't know, they didn't have the retribution ready. Jake's caught actually, Dante was able to pick that up without a retribution. Wasn't the right timing for a retribution. And the early game that Cade has set up for has just gone to bits. Dante is the one with the lead now, one level ahead of King, and they'll have the setup for the first turtle. Hey, maybe they just want to play the mind games. They're just like, hey, we are not afraid to go into your jungle. So make sure you clear all of those. If not, it might go to us. All I'm seeing is it's messy on both sides. It's messy on both ends. And if it continues this way for, what, the next five minutes, that's just good for GX because they're buying yeah. time. They're slowly scaling up. So the first turtle, clear priority over oh. to GX, but they're coming in. Wow, Rage Sandstorm. Yeah, Rage Sandstorm going in. Then the casting disengaged from the fight, but they're going to be bursted down. Yato comes Red in without any pressure. And that top side was pushed in before that. Cade got the setup, but GX forced in their turtle. Yeah, and for me, that was too close, in my, in my opinion, like, Yato should be positioned way further than that, because again, as a mage, you have a range advantage. As a Sicilian. As a Sicilian, a lot of mages, again, in fact, does have a long range Mirko. Yeah, absolutely, but look at that, it's gonna be Alamuni actually going in, Louise taking very low flickers in, and he gets the kill. There you go, that's what you wanna see from the Middle East representatives, finally on the board. But I do have to say, Alamuni going in from the Rome position, now going into the goal, he is actually looking very, very aggressive. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice my life, I'm just gonna get this, I'm just gonna get skill. I'm just gonna get what? Get this kill. Get mm -hmm. this kill. Oh, look at who's gonna get the kill as well. Dante is gonna get invaded on, and Yato is here. But again, no damage as of yet, and it's all a pay for King to come in. The execute wasn't able to shut him down, but it is all the resources used just to get him out of that one, man. Flicker as well. Oh. In the bottom side, though, Amuni, he's in a 2v1. He actually forcing it. No, it's gonna be Mikey playing in that mission. Close call for Mikey. He literally had Red half Team HP, 0.5 HP, and just like that, Cade taking advantage of the scramble, and Hiss just walks right into that bush where Red King was Hero waiting. Yeah, King. Slain. That brutal, honestly. No, I, I, it, he it, was uh, he dove over the turn in the mid lane, and he went to that bottom side. Hey, our observers know what's up. It's like we can't show this. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people are watching M3 right now, but they, but they can't see that. This looks illegal. King already going in again onto the enemy jungle. And look at that. The deadly catch does nothing. Dante gets slain in his own jungle. The octopus has just been made sushi. But Daru, double kill. Double kill. Oh, that's another 100 diamonds for me, Leo. Boom, bang, bada beam. Yeah. So talking about the road to recovery here, because we mentioned 13 to 16 minutes. Maybe that's the window. Best case scenario. Hisk already uses his flicker out. Louise, he has oh, torn apart memory and he tore Hisk apart. In comes Yato. Blue it's team hero it's, it's a little slain. bit of refuge that they get a kill on Mike, but also Louise caught out, slain. so it's a messy scramble. Blue I don't know if Cage just getting destroyed. carried away with how far they can take this, how much they can push into GX squad, 
But if this happens maybe two more times, then GX is back in the game. It's limit testing, Leo. This is limit testing. They want to see how far they can the really push this kind of advantage. Because again, from inside of GX squad, they need the skill. So you really just push things out, just force it in, and maybe GX squad. And again, we've seen they have made mistakes. Yado went a little bit too in front. Yeah, look at that. It's going to be Prime using that black shoes from that deadly catch. Dante, he is two levels below of King, and they're looking to collapse right now. They're already grouping up in the fifth minute of the game. Oh. Amuri tries to do some damage. Mikey will still be able to get out, but look at King. He is going to be able to burst Yato down without a crack, and Amuni is next on the chopping block, man. He goes under the turret, but Louise follows, and the Brazilian Heartbreaker will be able to get four for zero and a turret. Yep. Prior, he tried to hit people with Fire Apart Memory with like one or two stacks each. Just barely tickled them, and this did more than make up for that. Yeah, and in that last engage again, Yato 1-3-1 three, one right now. It's good that he's trying to force out his stacks. But again, I think it's a little bit better for you to stay safe because even though he is a mage, but he has to have that marksman or, or gold laner mentality where he has to farm, but he also has to stay safe. Right now, because again, every single time you die, that's seconds off your, your, your time to farm. Oh, oh Mikey finds another good divide judgment, and look at that! King just wreaks havoc in the back line! Finally getting the kill once again, and that's a shutdown for Yato. This is not what you want from GX Squad. If you're Cade, you do not want to feed that Sicilian. Yeah, Sicilian again, but still, it's still early in the game. It's six minutes in, 22,000 gold compared to 17,000, 5,000 gold ahead. Once Cade reaches 10,000, then they can really even play a little bit more disrespectful. But they kind of have to push it fast as well because it will be very, very annoying later on in the game going trying to push against Jack Squad when they can clear the lane a little bit faster because again, they got Dante on speed. Yato can clear significantly okay as well with a bad impact. So yeah, they can close it out, but it's going to be very annoying if they wait too long. I, I'd rather Arrogant, instead of Disrespectful, I'd rather Cade play Arrogant and just really force the issue. Again, countless times, Hisk had walked into a bush where King was turtle. just waiting. So just continue that, keep that up, because there's got to be some Red level of Saiwar happening. And even Takash is just coming in almost unpunished. The very Red little CC that slain. they have is able to just... Pin him down, did not get the quick sand guard up. Let's look at the items exactly. What is Cade building up to? Okay, right now looking at the itemization from the side of Takashi, he already has the Blade of Hepatitis. Maybe that's why he was very aggressive on the engage, but once he has that Blade of Despair, then it's going to be big trouble for GX Squad. Yeah, Takashi, you mentioned it earlier, man. Disrespect, and that is exactly what he did. He dove onto that inhibitor turret, actually, right? And he forced three members to go down, instantly just shut down. And remember, sure, the game isn't going well for GX Squad right now, but as long as Yato keeps on getting these kills slowly but surely, Honestly, they still have a chance to come back from this game, but it is not looking good for them because, oh, Falling Star Moon used up to try to zone the members, but it's going to be King going in for the knockoff strike, unable to get into that, and look, it's Yato dealing damage. I told you, man, that was only the cage and one bad impact landing onto King. Yeah, looking at this game, Yato is doing very, very well. Right now, he's going to the eight minute mark. When it comes to 12, he can do a lot of damage, and that point, Kate, they have to be very, very careful because King over here, 5, 0, and 5. I feel like they need a Lord kind of situation because they need some kind of distraction and they need to beat out Yato first. Yep, exactly. The pacing and the tempo of Cade is off the charts. The way they're playing, it should have been luminous at this point. This kind of advantage, this kind of lead that they have, mentally that's where they are. So I guess that's what explains all of the overcommitments that Tekash has committed. And so far, even Luis, we caught out Luis. We saw him cross through the mid lane earlier. He forgot, oops, we haven't pushed just yet. So that means right now, as the Lord comes up in about five seconds, we're gonna get back into pace for Kid. They are going to threaten the finish and J Squad, they're just not ready to respond yet. They're not ready for the game to end. Yeah, Lord Cam presented to you by TikTok Live is going to get up and instantly just take it over to Cade. There's nothing much JX Squad can do to respond to this play. They don't have any waves pushed up. It is still a complete set of turrets, by the way, for the Brazilians. Cade literally not dropping a single turret right now. Not even a turtle. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing on the board for GX Squad. And right now, Kate, they have a 10,000 gold lead. Now, we've seen a lot of comebacks, but coming back from 10,000 is very difficult. Right now, in terms of itemization, Kate has at least one item advantage against GX Squad. Per roll. Per roll. That 
is more dangerous. Well, let's see what happens. Again, it is going to be the Lord marching down the top side. There is nothing GX Squad can do outside of that inhibitor turret. And it looks like it is going to be inevitable, man. Cade, they are just so ferocious right now. And uh, technically, they do have... Oh, wait a minute. That is a lot of damage on the Yato. They got to be careful still, though, because... One mistake can actually turn the game around. We've seen it from a lot of games here. Comebackable is a word. Yesterday, we saw it from Todok. Hold on. I'm actually looking at Mikey. He has this uh, flicker. When is he going to use it? Oh, well, all right. There you go. It's going to be VK going in for the inhibitor target in the mid lane. Yato's going to be the target. Still, he better flicker away. And that's going to be a lot of damage placed on a Mikey right now. And a Moody. He flickers forward. And just like that, like I said, man, you got to respect the damage. Now, King going in, taking another kill. Oh. Dante forced to back away. But Takashi, once again, he goes under the turret. Still is able to heal up. But maybe a little bit too long as Yato has respawned, has come back with full HP. I mean, King keeps on going in. Oh. Strike, almost taking out all the members of the backside. It's going to be Oh. Picked up, and that is going to be Cade jumping, diving all the way under, even in the fountain. Jack Squad, they're going to oh. try to defend. Yato gets taken low, gets taken down. His is the only member left. He's trying to clear out the waves, but will it be possible? It seems like it will for now. Amuni gets up and saves the game. King over there, looking why he deserves the crown. Going very, very aggressive. And Mikey, unfortunately, could not get the catch. Because again, this is why Kaja has not been picked up for so long, because it's prone to mistakes. You flicker in, you feel like, ah, oh, this is close enough. No, it's not. You gotta be almost directly on top of the person to really connect your divine judgment. Red yeah, look at that. Mikey once again, he gets in and there's no response for the side of GX. At least this time, they're going to last 12 minutes in the game. Cade, they want to keep on going in and the base is left open. It is time for V for Cade to go in for that last. He gets caught out on the back side. Now the mini. The waves has been taken away, but Cade has sealed the deal 2 0. GX Squad has to face the music, and boy, oh boy, is it loud playing samba to the tune of the Brazilian Cade. Congratulations.